I was an actor before I was a filmmaker, and I was a filmmaker before I was a YouTuber. And I've been making videos on YouTube for nearly 10 whole years. I started off making little short films with action figures and Lego models, and then I went over to gameplay and gaming related stuff, but I didn't really ground myself on YouTube until 2015. And in 2015, I created this YouTube channel that I've cared for ever since. But my story for this channel doesn't really begin until the beginning of 2017. On January the 1st, 2017, I embarked on a brand new adventure. And today, welcome to the daily vlog. It's 2017, I wanted a change, I wanted to do something better than what I have been doing. I had always seen in the media about YouTubers making daily videos, and I knew some YouTubers that I watched that made videos daily, and making daily videos was the in style. So when it came to January 1st, 2017, I thought I knew what I was doing. Just a normal day of filming, you know. Oh, what are you got there? What is that? <laughs> that is, what is that? I didn't drop. I... When I started the 2017 Daily Show, I was angry. I was so, so, so angry. If you're not aware, the year prior, 2016, was probably the hardest year of my life Ever. Some who know my story might say, well that's a bit exaggerated. In 2012 you were set on fire and blanked out on a bus. In 2014 I ran away from home in fear of being rejected. In 2015 I was terrified because I was starting college a year early. But 2016 was probably the worst year of my life. I went to college and it was amazing for the first year, but by my second year I didn't even last a week. A couple of weeks later, I went to another college, and again, I didn't last very long. And I won't cover the details of what goes on because I'm legally not allowed to say what happened. But it was the main reason of why I was so angry at the start of 2017. When I started making videos in 2017, I was so depressed. I was so down. I had literally hit rock bottom. This you is fighting all the time, every day, every second. It tires me. I prioritise my YouTube channel over any of my work. I wasn't the most academic kid at school and no way was I going to be an A-star all-round person. But I gave up my future and the chance of me going to university and more importantly, I lost my friends group just to make videos every single day. And that probably doesn't sound bad if you have a million subscribers, but I didn't have a million subscribers. I had 1,500 subscribers. And I uploaded a video every single day of 2017. And by mid-November and December, I knew that the year was coming to the end and I didn't know what I wanted to do for 2018. I used to be able to make a vlog the day after another, but now it takes me two days to film a daily vlog and then like a whole day just to edit that vlog. And that's not because I'm slower, it's because 2018 gave me an opportunity to expand my skill set. I learned more about B-roll, I learned how to colour grade transitional effects, and so many different factors about making film. And with the factor of there being builders here every single day of 2018, it didn't make it any better. 2019 definitely started with heartbreak. It was just before Valentine's Day that me and my partner split up. It was 2019 when I was first featured on BBC News. And by the end of the year, I had been in a lot of the British newspapers. It was the supportive messages that I got from people hearing about the negativity that I received on YouTube, which relit this fire inside of my heart for YouTube. But as we were approaching the end of 2019, I was thinking to myself, I'm, I'm craving to make videos. So for the last couple of days on my channel, I've been uploading so consistently. But this little fire of love that I had for YouTube stopped being a little fire and it turned into an eruption of my soul. The idea of me making videos every single day was relit. But when I think about the start of 2017 and now, 2017 was like a pile of trash. I didn't know anything about operating DSLRs. 
and the lens that I was using was only this wide, and therefore all of my videos seemed very uncomfortable, especially to the viewer. But now I have a wider angle lens and I have fancier lenses and I have a secondary camera, things that I didn't even imagine having at the start of 2017. And the majority of my videos were filmed on this little camera right here. I also now have like professional microphones and lighting built into the roof, things that I could never even imagine. And I have all of this space which was designed to be able to create videos in, not for long term and not for anything too professional, but for my YouTube channel, that was my life. And when I started making trans topical videos, the camera that I had didn't even have proper autofocus. And the microphone, the lens, the tripod were the cheapest things that I could find on Amazon. So after so long, it's such an honor to be able to express this on camera to all of you. I would like to introduce you to the Not So Daily Show. And just like 2017, I'm not gonna box myself into any content. I will make whatever I wanna make. If it's just an ASMR video of me touching slime, I will make an ASMR video of me touching slime. If it's me putting on 100 layers of pseudocreme onto my face, I will put 100 layers of pseudocreme onto my face. But at the very core, I want you to all understand that I'll still be making trans videos and I'll still be making daily vlogs and I still will be doing what I've been doing up till now. All I want to achieve for 2020 is to think back at the end of the year and think to myself, hmm, I really hope I made at least one person happy this year. It's always been about me trying my best to help improve the lives of others. I can't even say I'll see you tomorrow because this is the Not So Daily Daily Show. So with that being said, welcome to 2020. I probably should get a haircut some point this year. Bye.